welcome to Kitchen Romance, brought to you by Married with a Life. I welcome you to this channel if it is your first time watching my videos. And I also like to encourage you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Married with a Life, and the Facebook page. If you are single, you can also benefit from our educative programs and testimonies from our singles that we have been equipping for the past seven years. You can find us on Facebook and YouTube at Single With A Life. I also have a two-in-one YouTube channel called Peace Amewowo, where you can find all the videos about singles, marriage, prayer, purpose, and everything else that I do in my ministry. Today, I'm going to take you to Ghana, one of our very local, traditional recipe called Banku. It's a food that is well-loved and is filling. It can make you put on weight though. So if you're a young mother and you've just been munching on those Banku, please, be extra careful because it might not help you to shred off the baby fat quickly. The last time I had banku was about seven months ago. So we don't usually eat banku. Today, I've got tilapia here. I've already washed it and uh, removed the scales. I'm going to now season it and put it in the grill. After that, I'll show you how I make banku with pepper to go with the tilapia. I'm first going to blend this together. So this is garlic, ginger, onions and bird eye chili. <laughs> That's all blended. Make some holes in the tilapia to help the spices to really penetrate properly. This is the host that I've made. Black pepper corn, I'll just crush a little bit in there. I always cook with it, I like it. Mix herbs, just put a little bit in there. One tablespoon of all purpose seasoning. This is complete seasoning. Another one tablespoon. I'll just use one teaspoon of salt. This is what I'll use to marinate the fish. One key thing to do when you're cooking, especially as a wife, is to do your best to be putting things away as you finish using them. So you clean as you go. I know it can be a bit, you know, but if you do it that way, it means that if your children should walk in, they could have enough space to do whatever they want to do. Or even if your husband walks in, Maybe he's coming to pick something or give you a helping hand. He will have space to move around and do the things that he wants to do. Kitchen romance is really for new mothers like myself, okay, to help us to be able to find quick, quick dishes that we can make that will still be delicious and not time consuming. And if you are a newly married couple, it will also give you ideas of food that you can make. Kitchen romance is not just for the females, it's for the males as well. Maybe you are the one that cooks at home and you can pick up some of these ideas to make things easier for your wife. And even if you are not the main cook, you can help your wife once in a while, do special dishes, make special meals to surprise her. One Saturday you let her sleep and then you take care of the children and you cook, okay? It helps to add some romance to the marriage because romance is not only in the bedroom. It starts with activities, all the activities that you do from morning to evening adds up 
to how much you will benefit from the bedroom and by the way that doesn't mean that sex is limited to the bedroom only you can have sex anywhere in the house watch my series on my journey from courtship to life after honeymoon i really gave some practical tips practical things that we do in our marriage that you can benefit from so go find them on the married with a live facebook or youtube channel i'm cooking for the home so i don't really need to use any gloves but if you feel you want to use gloves it's fine i'm just being practical because that's what most of us do the marination make sure that all the spices goes inside the holes that you made okay my husband doesn't like the head of what i do so let me know leave a comment for me do you like the fish head especially tilapia head what do you like about it if you don't like it why that's my red bell peppers and onions i'm just going to sprinkle it on top if you don't have red bell peppers you can use tomatoes you can also decide to stock this into the stomach right this is now going to go into the oven whilst the fish is in the oven i'm going to get the banku ready to prepare banku you need cassava dough and corn dough normally you would need equal amount of the cassava dough and corn dough or if you don't want it to be very starchy you can use more corn dough but i'm just going to use equal amount of the cassava and the corn dough i have added 1.5 liters of water and i'm now going to also add salt mix it together make sure there are no crumbs in there after that you can taste it to ensure the salt content is fine if you are not an african or especially a Ghanaian and you want to try this you need this type of ladle to make it easy for you it's very important that right from the beginning you keep stirring this so that there will be no lumps in it stir it round and round until it becomes harder as you can see it's getting harder and harder this really requires energy so if you are a male maybe you can decide to do your wife some favors by helping her to do this and it can get messy as well so make sure that as you go along you are cleaning make sure you have a bowl of water by you and then you need something like this to also put, get everything together this stage is very important when it becomes harder you need to be able to drive it very hard so that all the lumps can be even out when you get to this point if it's too hard you can add warm water you leave it for it to boil and then you turn it upside down to be sure that this is really done you literally have to tap it like that and if nothing sticks in your hand it means that it is done I'm going to dish this out. This is a, a wet tea towel just to wipe the surface. I've still got my bowl of water there and this is cleaned film. Then I'm going to fold it and literally stretch it out like that. Okay. The knife, cut it. this way cut it off banku is ready the next thing is to make the pepper i have peeled plum tomatoes tomato puree one bed i chili salt and then ketchup i learned this way of making my pepper from a family member's house chili pepper there that's my tomatoes 
I will use one tablespoon of puree. Okay, so that's enough. I will use another one tablespoon. I'll just use half teaspoon of salt. I won't add water, nothing else. At this point, you can taste it to see if the salt content is fine. If it's not, you can add a little bit of salt. I'm going to serve myself. The best way to eat this kind of food is with bare hands. It can be messy, but for you to really enjoy it, you have to use your fingers. This is nice. It's worth the effort. This involves a bit of energy in terms of stirring the bamboo but it can be quick to make it filling it's delicious and what more can you ask for please leave a comment for me let me know what you like about the video if you happen to try this recipe for the first time especially those of you who are not Ghanaians or you are not an African please send me photos on whatsapp my number is zero zero Four four seven five zero six zero zero nine nine three one. Maybe you are watching from a different country and you cook this kind of food but you have different name for it. What name do you guys call it in your country? Please leave it in the comments for me. Like the video, share it on your timeline. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe to Married with a Life on Facebook, on YouTube. If you are single, Go to Single with a Life and also subscribe. So especially if you click on the notifications bell, you'll be the first to be alerted anytime we upload new videos. In my next video, I'm going to be showing you how I make okra soup to go with banku. See you.